Hey guys, it's me. All right. Say hey when you hop on. I'm gonna put a little bit of BB Flawless combined with a little bit of concealer right on my hand. Um, you can apply this with a brush, um, the foundation brush, not to be confused with a liquid foundation brush, um, is a good one to apply this with, but I find that it's easier just for me to apply the BB Flawless with my fingers. So I've got clean fingers and I'm just going to go ahead and get that applied everywhere. I kind of go everywhere with it. And then make sure you bring it down so that the color doesn't just stop at your jaw because <laughs> that's always fun. fun. All right. And if you want to share this, uh, feel free to. Um, it's up to you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use my pressed powder in Taffeta. Here it is compared to Scarlet, just as a comparison. Normally, I actually use Organza, um, but I just have Taffeta right now, and Taffeta is close enough, and it will work, so. So I just use my powder concealer brush for almost everything. <laughs> you, I don't think I would use this to apply my BB Flawless, though. BB Flawless is, like, thicker because it's got um, moisturizer in it, and I absolutely love my BB Flawless. Like when I first started three and a half years ago, I had never really used a moisturizing foundation before, but um, everyone was ooing and aahing about it. And we had also just come out with our liquid foundation when I first joined. And that was like the sensational thing. But then this went on, on um, back order, well, not even back order, out of stock for four months when I first joined. And, um, we had to have an alternative. And so I love the pressed powder, but it was kind of dry. Uh, I mean, it's not drying, but by itself, like the winter, you know, cold weather can kind of zap the uh, moisture out of your, your face. So a lot of people were starting to push the, the BB Flawless, the moisturizing foundation. And I have found that I absolutely love it now. And I use it like winter, summer, spring, fall. I pretty much alternate it with my liquid foundation. So um, if you ever want to try something that has moisturizing in it, um, here's my plug for BB Flawless. I love it. And it's really easy to color match because there's only like six colors. <laughs> so, hey, Becky. Good. Oh, good to see you. Thanks for saying hi. All right. So, so I actually just put BB Flawless on with a little bit of concealer. Do you see how much it gives? Like this is like light to medium coverage, but when I put a little concealer in with it, I just kind of mix it together. Look at that. Now it's like full coverage. So I don't really feel like I am not, like I need to put more foundation on. I'm gonna use a little bit of our Behold setting powder though, like I love to do. Um, right underneath and around my eyes. I guess right around my eyes. <laughs> and I go up on my brows as well because um, I really want what I put on my brows today to stay. So I haven't um, highlighted or contoured yet. So I don't know. Maybe I should have waited till I did that. But sometimes I like to get that part done early on. So now I'm going to take the Scarlet concealer and I'm just going to get just a little bit with the concealer end of this brush and just kind of go right in here. Okay. I'm kind of going like right over at what I just did, but now we're kind of like just going in the highlighting places. So basically your T zone, right? All right. So I'm just applying it down the bridge of my nose, under my nose, and under my chin and then it can kind of blend it out a little bit like that all right and then what I'm going to do is I have been using my a la mode in opaline it's really dark kind of bronzy and using my angled blush brush and just getting a little bit of that on and I kind of like the way it looks if you want a little bit more warm tone then you can definitely use our beachfront bronzer this one is hermosa 
um, but there's sunset and um, another color I can't remember now. <laughs> anyway, you could use the beachfront bronzer or you can even use a pressed um, powder in a darker color. So there's a lot of options when it comes to choosing a contour color. But I do prefer powder over like say liquid. I will say that you can contour with a liquid or you can contour with something that's not, um, you know, like a solid, you know what I mean? Um, liquid powder and then there's like the sticks, right? So you could actually do that if you wanted to, but my preference is the powders just because I think it's easy to blend with. So then I always make sure I blend that out. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna put that away. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's do my eyebrows, you guys. Okay, so again, the brow pencils come this month in the kudos, you guys. It's customer kudos. If you just go to my website, you can find it. It's probably on the very first page. Okay, customer kudos. That is where you're going to save like 20% off a brow liner pencil. I got to look in my mirror. I cannot look in my phone to do this. Um, I use this every single day, you guys. I love it. And it's not, it doesn't have to be sharpened. You just twist it up. It is such an easy go-to. This would be so easy to travel with. Um, just have it in your purse if you want to touch up your brows or something. Or let's say you didn't get to your brows that day. You know, this would be like such an easy thing to just apply on the go. It really would be. So this is something I use every single day and it is, you can save 20% on it right now on the customer kudos. Um, and then you just kind of fill it in. You guys see how I'm doing it just above and below. I keep my brows like really short, my brow hairs. I don't tweezer them a whole lot. I do have my um, hair gal like wax my brows every six weeks, but otherwise I really don't tweeze them a whole lot. Doesn't mean I shouldn't be, but I, I just don't because I'm super low maintenance. <laughs> um, but I do actually take a little buzz, um, a little buzzer and I like buzz it short. So anyway, so, um, so did you just see that? I just twisted it up a little bit. Okay, so you get this brow pencil for 20% off in the customer kudos. And there are four things you get in that, you guys. So let me finish this and then I'll go on to the next thing, okay? All right. My kids are having their very last piano lesson. We are busy, busy, busy after next week. And to tell you the truth, like some of you guys have seen video of my 15 year old my redhead, um, playing the piano and he's amazing. Is that straight? I think it's straight enough, right? All right, we're gonna soften it anyway, so I don't think it's gonna be as obvious. So I take that spoolie end and I just soften it. So my 15 year old is amazing on the piano. He took to it and he loves it and he plays it like all the time. Like all the time. Um, but my other three kids are not like that. And so today's their last lesson. So it's okay. I gave them a year of lessons and I think we figured out that one out of four have liked it. <laughs> and after that, it's okay. We're gonna find their interests. But I think one of my favorite things to do with kids is just keep on trying new things. So a lot of you guys know I homeschool. I've homeschooled since 2007. So that's a really long time now. Um, and what I've learned is you just have to keep trying new things with kids. If they don't take to something that you want them to, like piano lessons or like a sport, it's not the end of the world. And you wanna find what gives them passion in the world, right? So, um, so that's what I'm gonna try to do with my other kids this summer. I signed them up for 
sports camps and drama and art and things like that. So I'm excited to find out if they have an interest in something else this summer. So anyway, I know this isn't a video about my kids, but <laughs> since they're such an integral part of my life, right, then you're going to have to hear about them. So anyway, parenting advice. <laughs> Hey, Tina. Oh, thank you so much for asking. Okay, so yes, that was the other thing I was going to mention today. So my mom is, she's either on the verge of getting out of surgery um, or she's still in surgery. I'm not sure yet. Um, I need to check with my dad when this is over again and see what the word is. But half an hour ago, she was still in surgery. She is getting knee replacement surgery today, and I have no idea how she's doing. So Hopefully, that just means she's great if my dad hasn't messaged me. My dad is really hard of hearing, so I was like, how am I going to get in touch with you, dad? Because <laughs> if I call him, like, he'll never answer. So, and he's super, super stubborn um, about he'll never wear, ear, you know, help with hearing aids or anything like that. He, I mean, that's for old people, you know, even though he's of a certain age where... <laughs> He should be able to do that, but he just won't admit it, you know. Those baby boomers, they just, um, they just, they're kind of stubborn, some of them, especially men. <laughs> so anyway, I think that my mom's probably doing okay, and I'm not going to worry about her. Um, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate you guys think, keeping her in my your thoughts and prayers today, and I will try to let you guys know, okay? I'll share it on my personal page. So if you guys aren't friends with me on my personal page or don't follow me, then you should so that I can um, let you guys know personal things. I do try to share some personal things on this business page, but you know, you know how that goes. It's like a business page too. So <laughs> you got to wonder how much personal stuff to share. Um, okay, so, so back to this for a second. Um, the brow pencil comes with the kudos this month, and so does your choice of an epic mascara, you guys. You can get the 4D mascara, but it is on back order right now till like, I think June 5th, which seriously, you guys, is only like a week and a half or two weeks from now, so that's not that long to wait. I would totally jump in there. Thank you, Tina. Yeah, I hope so. I'm not really worried. Yeah. Oh, thanks, sissy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my black... It's called Perfect, my black eyeliner. Don't use a liquid liner. Um, hey, just a second, just a second. Yes, darling? Yes, you can do it until I get off my video. My child that doesn't know how to wait <laughs> has to be answered right away or he'll keep asking me, so. Um, anyway, don't put a liquid eyeliner on your waterline, especially if you wear contacts. <laughs> Some people have done that. Okay, when you get your 4D mascara, this is my only one, you guys. I'm still waiting on my replacements. This might have some extras. I'm gonna have some extras soon. So you wanna kind of scrape it off a little bit, and then what you're gonna do when you get it is you're gonna wiggle at the base and keep turning it. Because there's actually a flat, flatter side and like a curved side. And don't overdo it, okay? Do not overdo it. Get the back of your lashes a little bit too because that's going to make your lashes just more full and stand up a little bit more. Okay, close the door, honey. She's giving them piano lessons right around the corner and I got to make sure that my door stays closed so I don't interrupt their lessons. Honey, I can't talk to you right now. You're going to have to look for her. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and wiggle the other side, get the back side. It's not really that complicated getting the 4D on, but I'm just trying to give you the best chance at great results when you first try it. You definitely, if you live in the U.S. and you don't have 4D yet, you either need to go to my website and get it, unless you're a presenter. <laughs> In that case, you need to get it yourself from your own website and don't support me, but support yourself, right? Um, but if you're not a presenter, you can either get it this week in the presenter's kit. 
you can go to my website, brittalashes.com and click on join and you can get it like this week, you guys. That is the only way to get it right this minute. Now I'm gonna apply some more layers, but even just one layer, like I'm really impressed with this. I love the 4D. They've combined the fibers with the gel. Now I'm gonna blow dry them straight up because that gives it just a little extra lift. Okay, so I do that with every single mascara now. It is like my favorite thing. I am probably not gonna wear eyeshadow again because I wanna go out and see her before she leaves for the last time, my, our piano teacher. So um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wear like a darker color today though because I haven't worn a dark color forever, you guys, in our Splash Liquid Lipsticks. So let me really quick, so I'll come back to this. Um, oh. I'm doing that scatterbrain thing again. The um the other so you get four items in the in the customer kudos right now. You guys, you have like another week and a half to get this. You also get your choice of along with an epic mascara, you get the brow liner and then you also get close the door. You also get a stick, a uh, makeup remover. It looks like this. Or you get a liquid um, makeup remover. So whichever one you want, and it will help take off that Epic Mascara and of course the rest of your face. So, um, and then you also get a dip and draw, um, dip and draw liquid eyeliner, okay? So there's like five colors to choose from. Let's go ahead and jump into Sensual. I'm gonna go ahead and get Pompous to go with it. Look at that fit. And still, I think this is gonna be darker than that one. Okay, this is Pompous. It's one of my all-time favorites. Okay, oh, Tina. Tina, message me, we're gonna talk about it, okay? But did you see how I did it, by the way? Hey, Mercedes, good to see you. Okay, let's get Pompous on. It's a good idea to get like a barrier for your lipstick so that it doesn't, if you have a problem with um, your makeup or your lipstick going outside of the lines, it's just not a good look. So what this is gonna do is provide an extra barrier for that lipstick to stay in place and not get passed. And then I always bring it in just a little bit. You guys know I do that. I need to sharpen it. It's a little bit, <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> okay, now let's get this sensual on, okay? So look at how dark this is. It really is. Look at how purple it looks. All right, so this, I'm gonna take some of it off too. We get so much product, you guys that we have to kind of adjust for that. I'm gonna, with the darker colors especially, I like to apply just a little bit. It's gonna be uh, a lighter color that way, and it's also gonna stay in place better. And just use it until you it looks like what you were looking for obviously and see how it's a lot darker it's still darker than what I put down for the pompous but it matches pretty closely See how dark that is? 
and I love it. I love the touch of color. I absolutely love it. Um, if you want to tone it down just a little bit or blend it out, I absolutely love ombres. Um, what you can do is actually take a concealer. Let's try that right now. Um, so this is like something that will work for any body. So I'm just getting a little bit of that concealer on there. And what it's going to do is just naturally match the shade that you're using. It's just going to blend with it. And take it in the middle. I am absolutely obsessed with ombres. Isn't that so pretty? And if you want to lighten it more, you can add more concealer, whatever. Don't forget to wipe off your hand. And the reason I do the back of my hand, of course, instead of this is <laughs> I would get it all over the place. So, okay, so let's go back. We're gonna do some more 4D. But as you can see, like it's dry now and I did just a light coating to separate all my lashes. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Go ahead and flip it around and get extra product off, especially when you first get it. And then again, we're just gonna kind of curl it straight up, kind of twist it, and we're just gonna coat it again. Okay, just a light wiggle. We don't want these to look cakey, so you got a light hand is really important for these, okay? And I have been using our Lash Serum as well. Um, you can actually purchase the Lash Duo, and it, well, I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me, I am terrible with names. Um, and I think you get your choice of a uh, mascara, an Epic Mascara, and a Lash Serum. So it's under Lash Sets, and if you guys need a link to that, just let me know and I can tell you where that, to find that. But you get like 10% off when you get them together. So it's a really sweet deal. So yeah, I have several customers that are trying the Lash Serum. It does take like a month to, you know, really show results. So you have to be a little bit patient with that one. But it does work, you guys. It does work. It thickens and it shows lengthened lashes. So look at that, you guys. I am loving it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry again. Look at those lashes, you guys. Just two coats of 4D. Like, that is amazing to me. I love it. If you want to get them this week, you should get the starter kit, you guys. We actually have two kinds of kits now. If you want to know more about it, just message me or put drop a something down below and I'll get back to you, okay? Yes. Um, okay, Mercedes, I'm still praying for you. I know you're in the hospital. I'm sorry you're not doing well. Hey, Carrie. Good to see you. I don't think I've seen you before. Thanks for joining us. And Denise, hello. Tina, yes. Try it again. You saw how I did it. So this is how it turned out. I mean, I'm loving it. I am so loving it. So I went from really drab to glam, you guys, in like, you know, 20 minutes. So you guys can do this. If you need more tips, watch more of my videos or um, message me and I can help you guys with whatever. Okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys later.